as we have successfully created the cloud and environment now let's be comfortable with this interface this is nothing but a complete ide you should be able to develop the complete applications using this interface one of the important component which will be using quite often is nothing but terminal to access terminal from this interface you can always uh, go here you can see that whenever you launch the cloud name uh, the terminal is displayed here if you want to add more terminals you can click on this plus and you should be able to say new terminal and add more terminals also if you want to go to the full screen mode with your terminal you can click on this it will take you to the full screen mode with your terminal if you want to get to that collapsed mode you can click on this again and you can see the terminal at the bottom only you can create new files to develop the code by clicking on this plus here first of all you have to set up the project and you, you have to start creating the files and take it further once you click on new file if you want to uh, name the file you can uh, say control s or command s if you are using mac and you should be able to specify the name for your file let's say hello world dot py and hit enter now the file is created it is automatically recognized as a python file here you can see the logo here now you can say print hello world and then you can save this right click on it then say run this file you can see that it is running and you should be able to see the output at the bottom you can see here it displays hello world now if you want to change the settings with respect to editor or the terminal first let me close this pane if you want to change the font settings whether it is the editor or the terminal then you have to go to preferences here you have to click on this and then say preferences as part of the preferences you can scroll down you can go to the user settings here so all the settings related to editor or terminal are under user settings once you are in the user settings you should be able to change the font for your terminal or the editor in this case let's say i want to change the font size with respect to the terminal you can see the terminal here and then i should be able to change the size of the terminal 18 is good enough for me and hence i am leaving it as 18 you can also change the settings for the output the code editor etc you should be able to explore all the user settings here that being said i am closing the preferences here and uh, here you should be able to search for the files once you add more and more files you should be able to click on this to collapse and get more space for your editor uh, it is also integrated with uh, uh, github and hence you should be able to uh, clone your repository from github or any other git based environment and you can take it further also you can go to the aws explorer here to get the details about your aws related components that being said on top of these things you also get uh, docker out of the box in this environment you can actually say docker and hit enter you don't need to exclusively set the docker up in this environment you can directly start using the docker you don't need to go through those steps to actually set up the docker in this environment cloud9 will provide the docker as well whether it is amazon linux or ubuntu for you out of the box if you want to create any docker containers for your uh, practice you can use this and you can set up the required docker containers so this is uh, the brief overview about the uh, ide interface that comes with cloud9 make sure you are comfortable with this so that you can leverage this platform if you choose to go with aws for your practice and keep on learning all the content related to data engineering